Hey guys, I wanted to introduce a new project here on the homestead. I know I started my channel as a homestead, but turns out I'm more into doing projects, I guess, than uh, homesteading. Uh, though we do have a few animals, it's not really what I spend my time doing. But, now that it's springtime, I don't know if you can see this building behind me. I'll flip this camera at some point and show you. But I have this building which is an old well house and it still has the well in it but I'm thinking one thing I've wanted to do but I don't have the the area is I'm wanting to do kind of a European um, or have the ability to do European styled cured meats like uh, for those of you who have had Spanish hams um, completely different than how we cure meats here in the States here we inject them, and FDA, you know, recommend, you know, kind of con controls that. But um, here we inject them full of salt, and I think I was reading somewhere that the hams and meat cured here in the states has something like 700 and some percent more salt than cured hams uh, from Spain. In Spain or other places such as perhaps Italy or France, I don't know, but I know uh, Spanish hams, they don't get injected with salt. They initially go in salt until a certain percentage is lost, then the salt gets rinsed off and they actually get hung anywhere from a year to two years. So what one needs to do that is they need a room that, and I know traditionally they used attics, but they need a room that is somewhat humidity controlled airflow controlled, somewhat temperature controlled, and they're typically started in November, um, well it's cold anyway, so that the hams lose a certain percentage of, of moisture before summer comes. So um, that is what I am setting up here on the homestead to be able to do is not just hams but what they refer to as muscle curing when you take whole muscles and cure them or even salami and what I'm not gonna do this is not gonna be a smokehouse this is not going to be even a, a cold smokehouse there will be no smoke introduced into this building it's merely going to be I'm gonna set it up so that I can control the atmosphere and I'm merely going to dry age I guess you could say whole muscle salamis things of that nature and also possibly cheese if I get a cheese you know that needs the same conditions so I'm gonna flip this camera around show you what I have and go from there all right so this is the outside of the building I'm gonna get it all uh, caulked up like the joints and everything prime it paint it seems to be watertight and under those boards is the actual well I'm gonna build something better that kind of seals off the well remove all that pump and basically what we did today and I got the help of my little helpers is these shelves were full of canning back from 1985 and the floor was just full of glass jars and canning from 1985 so we've got literally pretty much all the crap out a good sign is in all the years this has sat here I'm guessing from 1985 there was not one mouse dropping that I saw in this room. It is pretty tight. I do have a vent up here on the ceiling. It's currently blocked off. Um, but I may or may not use it for airflow. I don't know. I've got power here, obviously. Power over there. And uh, I don't even know. I might even actually suck the water out of this pump, see if it refills, and see if I can't set up a pump <clears throat> not for the house, but for farming use. So I might actually, you know, this might become a dual purpose, but I feel that cleaned down and cleaned really well, get the proper airflow in here, 
regulate the temp and the humidity and airflow, I feel that this would be a great place to cure dry, dry cure meats and possibly cheeses. I have to see if they can play nicely together. I, I haven't done my research on that. So this is the rest of the crap that I've got out of the room that I've got to, to deal with. But that is the new, the new project here that I am just now starting.